1980 Lincoln Sands were struck and issued against a backdrop of uncertainty about the denomination as successive administration tested new compositions and pondered its elimination. The coins themselves are not remarkably rare by any measure, but the years surrounding their issuance saw a shortage of cents in circulation. So a shortage of cents in circulation, a problem that had dodged uh, the Treasury Department and the United States Mint for years. These alongside the major collectible, double die variety of the date and condition rarities at the upper end of the grading scale makes the 1980 Lincoln Santa quite a bit more interesting to the collector than meets the eye. By the early 1980s, United States was again facing a shortage of cents. The Washington Post reported that despite combined cent production across the mint branch in 1980, increasing 20% over 1979, Cents were disappearing, baffling treasury officials. Penny hoarding is suspected, the article continued, noting that copper's price stood at less than a pound, meaning that the copper would have to double in price before the copper in a penny would be worth more than one cent. Creative sources of copper were suggested on June 25, 1980, legislation was introduced to the 96th Congress by Representative Loris MacDonald calling for unpopular Susan B. Anthony dollars to be melted and copper recoined into cents. The bill never received a water after being referred to the House Financial Services Committee. Despite the increasing copper price and hoarding, the mint continued striking 95% copper cents in large numbers in 1980, 1981 and into 1982, with copper prices raising, changing the cents composition became inevitable. In 1982, the mint began striking copper-plated zinc cents. In uncirculated condition, 1980 Lincoln cents have a nominal numismatic value of about 35 cents. This takes into account dealers carrying and handling costs. BU50 coin roll of 1980 Lincoln cents sell for under $10 on eBay. A recent sale on the site placed the per coin cost at 16 cents. In certified holders, the market for 1980 Lincoln cents is radically different, abundant in grades as high as MS66. The 1980 Lincoln cent only becomes conditionally scarce in grades MS67 and above. Today, there is only one 1980 Lincoln cent graded MS68 at either service. Prices for uncirculated 1980 Lincoln cents remain under. $50 in MS66 red, usually selling for between $15 and $25. MS67 red coins generally sell for between $100 and $150. And plus designation multiples of value more than tenfold. An example certified MS67 Plus sold in great collections auction for $2428.65 with buyer's fee in 2018. Another example in the same grade sold for $2233 in Heritage Auction at January 2017 Fan Show. The 1980 cent presents one major double die variety referred to in a FIBA Stanton's popular chair picker's guide as FS101. In this 1980 double die verse, strong doubling is evident on the date and liberty. According to FIBA and Stanton, heavy die polish is discernible on the reverse below the Lincoln Memorial. One of the most valuable examples was sold in Great Collections Auction in 2022. This superb gem fetched the sum of $1316.25 with buyer's fee. This video was made based on CoinWeek article, the link of which is available in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next